I'm going to show you guys the art, and then I'm going to go, because it's fucking, like, 4.30 a.m., and this got... I badly mismanaged the amount of time that it would take to to do that music. So, whoops. Um, okay, as usual, if you have art, please tweet it to me if I miss it. And uh, also, yeah, please be sure to upload your art while I'm streaming. I say it a lot, but I mean it. From C, this is uh, some Mitomo art. God, speaking of Mitomo art, this was the pose that my me was in earlier. <laughs> and I posted it. Kill me! Mito Mitomo's pretty cool. Um, kind of pointless, but I, I kind of don't mind pointless. It's, it's a fun distraction. And that's a nice piece of art. From what, when? Here's some cool Chrono Trigger art. Magus's castle with the epoch flying overhead. Oh man, I just I really want to explore Magus's castle in 3D. <laughs> so bad. From what, when? 45 pl uh, playable characters in Chrono Cross, but not even one Lavo spawn. What, what do you mean? Lavo spawn is a playable character. Um, from Dylan, 227121, took some pictures using a quadcopter, edited them to make Red Vox fan art. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. I like the red of the, you know, the cars, the, the brake lights. That's cool. From the same person, here's another picture from a quadcopter. Yeah, it's that's an interesting take on the Red Vox fan art. I haven't seen anything like that yet, so good luck. Hopefully your quadcopter doesn't get shot down with a BB gun. Or, you know, a net gun, or worse, two drones carrying a net. It's going to get weird over the next 10 years, trust me. Also, the Amazon drone did its first successful delivery. And it's it's funny to me because if that gets started and Amazon starts delivering shit by drones, there's going to be people with, like, fucking bow and arrow or, like, BB guns. And they're going to find remote spots in the woods where the fucking drones fly over and they're going to have to, they're going to shoot them down. And then Amazon is going to end up like making them fly along streets so that there's less of a chance. And then there's going to be laws against people shooting them down. And there's going to be, you know, fucking security and protection. There's going to be cameras that take pictures of the people that shoot them down. It's going to get weird. So strap in. This one's from, um, biz, bizib. B I Z Z I B. From that's a cool shroom. Thank you for that. Com J. It's an April Fool's joke, right? Com J. <laughs> and from Com J again. As if shit posting wasn't enough. Com J sauce.com. It's not real. <laughs> okay, it's not real. All right. I was expecting something to be there, but nope. Um, from Donkey Spittle. Extra meme point if you know this rabbit. That was uh, that's Oswald, right? Oswald the rabbit. I don't know how that's is that meme points though for knowing that. I don't know if Oswald's a meme necessarily. Um, from Gay Ninja Turtle, I think he drew me. As like a um, a vape guy is this like me part like as a vape douche? Cause uh, if so, that's that's cool. Is that a, a man bun as they call them? Oh man, so cool from Torin. Here's um. Good morning, Chrono from Apple Dave, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Also, the culling got a new patch, and it's apparently not so great. Some things are okay, and other things are kind of slow and broken. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to check that out soon and find out what, what they did to fuck it up, if they did anything. From Fenrir, Fenrir Flame. Then he's japing us again. The Jape Crusades. Thank you for your first submission. From Anonymous Owl, here's Poso. 
Nice art from Soggy Goat in the Vine We Trust. Started out as just a Vine shroom, shroom drawing, and then this happened. It's pretty cool. From Pure Gaming, Red Hot Battle Trainer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's me in Pokémon Tournament. From Donkey Spittle, here's a Vine Sauce RPG. And uh, there's, a, of course, an Apple Dave. Is that a Ridley, perhaps? No, Ridley's too big for RPGs. From I'm sorry. From Burrito Cheese, here's a Surge in the Crazy Bus. <laughs> From a Payphone... Scyther and Garchomple, the sounds of Gary. Oh, dear God, I love this. This is a good one. Thank you. Thank you for taking my shitty joke and turning it into a thing. From Fenrir Flame, the absolute madman. You can't replace me, Vinny. <laughs> Sorry, Poshal, but uh, you gotta go. You gotta go. From Corrupted Mind Creations. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Very nice. From the same person, here's a Red Vox version. Also very cool. Different than I'm used to seeing, too. From 8-Bit Beetle, here's one of those uh, Komodo pups from Chrono Cross. I like that. Bastards are hard to find, but from Hitomi Fujiki, Fujiko, our vine sauce is mine now. I like how many fake Hitomis there have been. Like, there's a whole, like, lore. Oh. Well, hang on. Actually, the thing about this is, yeah, someone stickied the post onto the, the our vine sauce. So, yeah, and then the rules are all, are you lost everyone's Hitomi Fujiko? Oh, God damn it. I guess it's an April Fool's thing, guys. I got fooled too. But, um, yeah, it's, yeah. Yep. <laughs> wow, and just, just like a week, and a little bit over a week, this managed to turn into this huge thing. It's crazy. Um, from Zai Redwinters, Dark Metamorphosis. From Martian Moon, human bird thing man with pecs. Also, that video has gone around a lot. The Hitomi video, the Active Worlds video, surprisingly has gone around. I mean, that's uh, the, my best. Okay, in terms of like video growth, that's the best one in years. I mean, I'm proud of the editing, but it's still kind of crazy. It's almost at a million already, which blows my fucking mind. Um, also... On a side note, yeah, it made a bunch of like, um, made a bunch of like news websites, which I'm glad the clickbait seems to be kind of dying down a bit and people are just talking about like lost internet worlds that are kind of abandoned, which is more interesting to me than a fake supercomputer that is trolling people. But anyway, human bird thing man with pecs, <laughs> P-E-C-K-S. Well, it finally fucking happened. Luca. My favorite video game character, you know, of the female persuasion in Chrono Cross, um, has been ruined by Chunky Butternut. Maluko. Original content, do not steal unless it's for purposes that go against Vinny's mental health. I like how the antenna is a dick. Well, you just ruined Chrono Trigger for me forever. Thank you. You fucking bastard. <sighs> Thank you for the art. The art's good, though. The art's good, but my soul isn't. From Logical Looney, here's Gary the Garchomp. I love it. More Pokken soon. I really enjoyed that game. I don't know if I enjoy anything anymore after that, but I enjoyed it at the time. From Cuckoo Banana. Here's some Paper Mario themed art. Um, mixed with Tamadachi. 
and active worlds. This is a whole big combination of things. Jesus, welcome humans to my empty world. Here's where you will meet your fates. That's crazy. That's a lot of different. I love that, Cuckoo. But it's absolutely um, crazy how many different things you were able to get in here and make it work. That's that's fantastic. Um, from Pictographer. I see, there she goes, and I see someone's face. Whose face is that? Is that your face, pictographer? Did you, are you the, the, which one are you in the song? Are you on the phone, in the trash can, or at the old bar? So, whatever, let me know. And Carlo made this, 100% hand-drawn by me. Which Carlo is this? I'm not sure which Carlo this is. This might be the Carlo from the chat that we would all know and love, but um, if it's not, then very cool regardless. I think this is great. This is psychedelic and awesome, and just I like the colors and the abstractness of it. And from that one Jimmy, one, two, three, here's a Luigi emoji. Carlos, can you hear me? Um, pictographer says that that's his wife. Very cool, pictographer. I don't know. Listen, I'm just wondering, you know, which one of the there she goes verses she is. That's all I'm saying. Did she go in the evening, the evening sun, or when the day was done? I want to know. These are important things. Um. Thank you for the art, everyone. And uh, thank you again for tolerating my music and again, giving it a chance. People definitely are sending some nice emails about it lately and especially tonight after just in the past hour alone, there's been a lot of really nice emails and messages and, and people buying it. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. I, I'm fucking just so happy that you like it and you know, listen, here's to more in the future. We're going to, you know, we're going to keep going and we're, we're excited to make more music. So if you like what you heard, it's only going to get better. So from that, I will say, have a great night, everyone. Thank you for watching. I don't know if, I don't know if anyone's live right now on the Vine Sauce team. I'm going to find out. I guess, let me just be set out. Oh, uh, Marissa's live. I'll host her. Um, oh, and Jeff is live too. Vigibum, I think. Uh, listen, when this is going to sound sappy, but let's do it. It's almost five in the morning. Who gives a fuck? If you're still here, then, you know, you're a brave soul. So I'll just do this now. Um, and then I'm literally just going to pass out after this. But the reason music became a thing for me was actually not to get chicks. That happened a little bit later. <laughs> But when I was when I was young, I listened to, you know, the 90s rock. And then when I got a little bit older, like I forgot about music. I didn't forgot that I loved it until I probably hit 16 and I started listening to The Doors. So that's why I don't know a lot of music from like 2000, you know, like from like the late 90s to the early 2000s. I skipped a lot of it. I know some of the singles, but I got into The Doors and then my cousin burned me a Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix CD. And I was hooked. I thought, this stuff is amazing. And um, then later on, of course, I knew some of the Beatles, but the Beatles happened and then, um, you know, Queen fucking happened. But Zeppelin in particular was a big one for me when I was going through a breakup and a really rough time. And, you know, the music really was the thing that helped. I realized that there are people out there that are capable of creating stuff like this and saying things that I felt that w weren't me. So it for me, music, and, and this is going to sound supremely corny and supremely stupid, but it really does come down to there's people out there that feel the same way you do. You're not alone. When you're going through a shitty time, it's not just you. It's, you know, others. We, we all share this experience we call humanity in different ways, of course, but it's all we don't know what the fuck we're doing here. And we're just here and we're we're in this together. And we're, why we why do we fight each other? You know, and why do we have to hate 
when there, we don't know what we're doing here and we don't have forever. So just, you know, get along. But for me, the music is, is the thing that makes me want to get along. It's, it's a good, it's a good thing for your soul for me. Right. So Zeppelin was like, I got to get a guitar. I want to learn how to play again. And I want to, um, I want to make more music. And then I listened to Floyd and then I started kind of venturing out a little bit more. Um, and then stuff like Radiohead. But anyway, the point is once I got, I got the guitar, I really realized, I realized that when I was going through my rough points and, and the song 10 years gone from Zeppelin or like wish you were here or any of those kinds of songs or like some, some of the Beatles songs that really did a lot for me. Um, the reason I made the music and still do to this day and from a brief, you know, interjection of, wow, I want to impress chicks with my guitar. But it was mainly a hot, hot beef interjection. Um, it was mainly that I wanted to share that experience. I wanted to create something that not only I felt good about, I would feel shitty, write a song and then feel better. But other people maybe one day could listen to this and feel the same way that I did when I was going through those shitty times. And even if that is the case for two or three people, that's that's great. And I think it comes from a pure spot. Like I said, money is great. I would love to be able to fucking afford an apartment in New York City or something or be able to, you know, go on vacations wherever. But I don't really, that's not what makes me happy. It's it's kind of more just, you know, living a comfortable existence, but also being able to create and know that I'm having a good time throughout life, in whatever way possible. So the money isn't really part of it. Chicks are still part of it, sure. But... Aside from that, you know, it's it's about it comes from a good spot. It comes from a spot where I, I I just really want to share it. And when Mike said let's go play some music again over a year ago, the idea was why waste songs like Long Lonely Night that were literally just sitting in my head, not written down. Just they didn't exist anywhere. No one knew that song. That was a song I wrote 10 years ago that just got forgotten about and no one knew it. No one myself included basically, because I had forgotten some of it. And now, as a result of what we, you know, what we've done, it's it's there. It's it's a thing. It's a tangible thing. And people can listen to it. And maybe it'll mean something to them. Maybe it'll help them get through some shit. I don't know. But why waste something like that? Why let it go to waste? I didn't want that. That doesn't need to happen. And uh, I feel like we're f currently working on more songs that are new, but also some of the old ones that, you know, if there are any that are like, why waste that? That's what we'll do. So yeah, it comes from a, a genuine place in, in me and in all of us really that are working on it. So that's, that's again, you know, it's, it's not like you could just download it for free is what I'm trying to say. If you, find, if you know someone that has the zip file, just take it. It's fine. Just enjoy it. You want to share it? You know someone that might be able to get this to a bigger audience? You can do that too. Or if you just want to send it to your grandma because she liked the Beatles, <laughs> you can do that. Whatever you like. Um, and if you don't want to do anything, you don't have to do anything. I don't care. Just show up tomorrow for a stream so you can abuse me while I <clears throat> can't beat my champ in Pokken. Or uh, you could show up tomorrow and watch me get my ass culled. So, I mean, that's fine too. As long as you're having a good time, I'm having a good time. And uh, if you like the music, well, then more's on the way, motherfuckers. So expect it. And if you're at too many games this year, you're probably going to get a Red Vox concert. So rub that on your nipples. Okay, I've ranted and raved like a lunatic a lot. It's been a very insane week for me. It's been a very busy week for me. And uh, it's been gratifying. And also, it's had its ups and downs for a number of reasons. But... Thank you for watching and thank you for allowing me to rant and I will fuck off into the night yet again and I will see you guys soon. Have a great one. Luigi.